Hey, real quick, <clears throat> chiming in on a uh, radio interview, one of many radio views with uh, Sophia Stewart. She's actually on right now. Just want to do some quick updates with her situation, with her case, and everything with the Matrix 4 Terminator. I want to just first, for, first and foremost say that the California case was sabotaged purposely by her lawyers. Um, and we already know who sent them. That's what we know. Utah case, she won that. 2014, September 25th, she won that. Uh, Judge uh, D. Benson, Evelyn first sided with her on docket 283, pages 3 and 4, stating that the source work, which was a third eye, created the Matrix and Terminator movie franchise, which gives her ownership. It's not. A, it's, let's take a rocket science to understand that. It gives her ownership. The, also, the trademarks and the copyrights that she does have to the Matrix and Terminator gives her ownership. Ownership. The deeds. She has the copyrights to Matrix 4. Okay? The version that uh, Warner Brothers and Zach Penn them tried to come out with, another version of the Matrix, she shut that down with a cease and desist letter. The Terminator with uh, the Deadpool guy and James Cameron, she shut that down with a cease and desist letter. You won't hear from any of those people anymore. You can't do something when you don't own something. You can only defraud the public and make them believe it's you. Yeah, because you control the media and you kind of control what people think because that's what you put out. But let me tell you something. If you ever want to know who owned the Matrix and Terminator, go see how many copyrights and trademarks Warner Brothers, the Wachinskis, James Cameron them own. Zero. Okay? Yeah. And go to the Pacer, Salt Lake City, Utah, for the court. Look up these documents for Sophia. Look up the case for yourself. Don't believe in some smears or something, whatever, because if I controlled the media and I was trying to steal billions of dollars from somebody, I would defraud you too. Two, three CPAs verified that the damages in this case was $4.7 billion. The judges didn't award her the money, but she put in $3.5 billion in liens. That's something that Warner Brothers and all other parties do not want to come out right now with this merger with AT&T. Can you imagine? If that made news that they owe her $3.5 billion in lease and all the shareholders be like, hmm, why do we owe her that money? Why? Because y'all stole. Shareholders, you didn't, but the company that you trusted in stole. So when the DOJ and the feds finally go ahead and arrest these guys and, 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 and Trump continue to drain the swamp, what he's doing, doing a great job. There's a lot of stuff y'all don't know he's doing. You may not like the guy. You might not like him, but he's doing some great stuff. It is what it is. Get mad at me for saying what I say. Oh, whatever. Anyway, back to the Matrix Terminator. Matrix 4 is ready. Terminator 5 is ready. Okay, I've seen the script. They're ready to go. I was present in court. I was on the phone when the copyright office called about the copyrights. Okay, she put the copyrights into the trademark case, too. So I'm on the phone with them right now. Listen. Right. someone used your property and made money off of it, and you entitled to that money. So you're going to court for... The punitive damages and the compensatory damage. Mm -hmm. That needs to be understood. No one, no one needs a judge to tell you if you own a property or if you own something. Right. You have to mm -hmm. know if you own. Okay, this is uh, my house phone. I'm chimed in through her phone. I witnessed to everything. Everything is real. The Matrix Four is going to come out, guys. There's some other stuff that I can say that'll blow your mind right now. I've been real quiet. But go to my Derek Ashford pages on Facebook. Derek Ashford, D-E-R-E-K-A-S-H-F-R-D. I have some, I have the copyrights on there, pictures of me and Sophia and everybody else and a whole lot of other stuff. But just wanted to make a video. Things about to get really interesting real soon. We are in the driver's seat. Sophia and I, she owns all the copyrights and trademarks, baby. Anyway, back to the interview. issue for you. Do not let the internet twist your mind. Do the research yourself. 
If I'm stealing billions of dollars from somebody, I'm going to put out fake stuff too. Because I want to keep that billion of dollars and not go to jail. But guess what? Heads are going to roll. Money is going to be exchanged. Sophia Stewart. A billion dollar intellectual property owner. Billion dollars. Two times. It's real. Thank y'all for watching the video. Like I say, visit my Derek Asher pages, whatever. Um, I'm not even interested in following. You know what people say, follow me. Do, I don't even care. Because what I'm going to do, <laughs> it's gonna, the work is going to speak for itself. You don't have to beg for following. I hate when people do that on videos, man. Just speak the truth and keep it moving. All right? That's what we do over here at Matrix and Terminator Land. Peace out.